This video includes a paid sponsorship from Novium, but I'll talk more about that later. Is a Tesla Cybertruck really a no compromises replacement for a diesel or gas truck? Or is it really more of a fashion statement? Follow along as I share how the truck is doing in the real world to help answer this question. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. While I personally would not drive a diesel truck for obvious reasons, I do understand why they exist because diesel engines and trucks are more efficient, especially when towing or carrying heavy loads as compared to the gas burning alternatives. But all internal combustion engine trucks come with a huge negative and that negative is that they spew out toxic exhaust. The Cybertruck on the flip side can be recharged with renewable energy and does not emit toxic exhaust. But beyond the environmental benefits, can the Tesla Cybertruck really replace a gas or diesel truck when it comes to actual work? Or do diesel and gas burning trucks need to stay around for a while? Well, before I answer that question, this portion of today's video is sponsored by Novium. I've been using this interstellar edition hover pen from Novium for several months now, and I really love it and I believe you will too. Not only does it have great style and a good high-end feel, but it's very comfortable to hold while writing and it writes very smoothly as well. Beyond its functionality though, it's also a lot of fun to spin it as it stands magnetically balanced in its base at a 23.5 degree angle, which is a nod to the Earth's axial tilt. Also, you can use this pen for a very long time because it's a refillable ballpoint pen and it's offered in several different colors, including the space black color that I have, Mars Magma, Starlight Silver, and Neptune Blue. If you want something completely unique, the space black color can be upgraded to include a real embedded meteorite piece so you can have a genuine piece of outer space sitting on your desk. For those who prefer writing with a fountain pen, Novium also offers their future edition hover pen, which comes in an optional two-in-one configuration that allows you to set it up as a fountain pen or a rollerball pen. Hover pens do make a great gift for yourself or someone else and they come packaged in a really nice box. Find out more by clicking the link in the video description and enjoy a 10% discount and free shipping on all hover pens with code CLEANERWATT. Do note that Novium does offer international shipping. Okay, back to the Cybertruck. On a surface level, with its stainless steel exterior, armor glass, lockable storage, impressive payload capacity, and also its impressive max towing, it appears to be an amazing truck on par or surpassing many gas or diesel alternatives. But in the real world, can it really replace a Ford F-150 Ram 1500 or Chevy Silverado 1500? First of all, let's talk about durability. Obviously, we will need to see how the Cybertruck holds up long term overall. But when you just look at the vehicle itself with its stainless steel exterior, which is cold rolled stainless steel. It's extremely strong, it's dent resistant, so it's going to be very hard to dent that truck and beat it up in a work environment. Whereas a typical gas or diesel truck, the exterior of those trucks, the metal is really pretty thin and it scratches and dents really easily. So the Cybertruck is going to be very tough when it comes to the exterior holding up. And when it comes to like a contractor or a tradesperson who drives a truck regularly to customers' homes, they really want to represent their business well, and so they want their truck to look good. And the Cybertruck is going to be easier to keep looking fresh and new for longer because of that stainless steel exterior. If the Cybertruck does get a little bit scratched, you should be able to buff out those scratches, whereas there'd be a lot bigger deal if it was a painted truck. In addition to that, the Tesla Cybertruck's armor glass is much stronger than normal glass, and is resistant to cracks and breaks. So that's a huge win also when it comes to work environments. In addition, the Tesla Cybertruck has an air suspension system. While there are other trucks on the market with air suspension, this is a benefit over a lot of trucks that don't have this because when you load something heavy into the back of the truck, the air suspension will help level it out and keep that truck from squatting. Here's an example from the YouTube channel Cybertruck Secrets of the Cybertruck being loaded up with over 1800 pounds of drywall. And you can watch here as the air suspension system automatically levels out the ride height and thus eliminates the squat with that heavy load.
The Tesla Cybertruck also offers way more lockable storage standard than any other gas or diesel truck on the market. It has an extremely strong retractable tonneau cover, which can be locked and gives you the entire bed as a storage compartment for tools and equipment, etc. And it even has a little small compartment under the bed to secure your stuff even further. In addition to that, the Cybertruck has a front trunk. And while it may not be quite as large as the Ford F-150 Lightning, when it comes to gas and diesel trucks, of course, the engine takes up the entire front end of the truck. So you have no room for a front trunk in those vehicles. So when it comes to lockable storage, the Tesla Cybertruck has a huge advantage over the gas and diesel truck alternatives. The Tesla Cybertruck also has a steer by wire system and four wheel steering, which combined make the Cybertruck easy to maneuver and very enjoyable to drive around in the city or on the job site. And when it comes to maneuvering parking lots or on the road or on the job site, it's going to be very easy to move the Cybertruck in and out of tight spaces. And the turning radius is much better than many other trucks on the market. In addition, despite having four doors and being a little bit shorter than the Ford F-150, the Cybertruck still has an over six foot rear bed and it's over four feet wide. So you can easily put in four by eight sheets of plywood, sheetrock, etc., into the back of the truck. And while it's not the longest bed available in the industry, it's right where it needs to be to make it usable in a work environment. Okay, with that being said, let's now talk about something that's extremely important, and that's max payload and max towing capacities of the Cybertruck and how that compares to the competition. The Tesla Cybertruck can tow up to 11,000 pounds and offers up to 2,500 pounds of payload capacity, which compared to the competition is very respectable. Okay, everything I've said so far has been quite positive, and that's because those are very positive characteristics of the Cybertruck. However, I'd like now to talk about something that really is kind of a negative of the Cybertruck. And really this is a negative of electric trucks in general. And that comes down to the real world range of the Cybertruck versus other gas and diesel trucks. Many gas and diesel trucks on the market when fully fueled up offer five to 600 plus miles of range. However, even the most efficient version of the Cybertruck only offers up to 340 miles of range. And as we're seeing, the real world range of the Cybertruck is actually less than that. This range difference is even more compounded due to the fact that gas and diesel trucks are more efficient when driving on the highway, whereas electric trucks are less efficient the faster you go. When it comes to a real world example of a Tesla Cybertruck owner talking about this, I recently interviewed Dennis who owns a Foundation Series Cybertruck and here's what he had to say after driving from Austin, Texas back to California. It was an interesting experience. I don't think I'll ever do it again. I think that trip is supposed to take 20 hours, a straight shot from Austin to California, but because of how many supercharging stops we had to go to, uh, it bumped it all the way to like 27 hours. I think it was like 12 plus supercharging stops. And also Texas and New Mexico and Arizona, it was colder at night. So the efficiency of the truck was not doing well in that first you know, drive. And I was getting pretty scared too as well because it was looking like 600, 700, 800 watt hours tomorrow. I thought something was wrong. And then finally, after we got back to California with warmer temperatures and maybe the car had to recalibrate, now we're getting, finally getting down to like that 400 watt hours per mile, which is much better than what it was before. So the truck is very finicky. Learning from the road trip, you have to drive with the tonneau cover closed for aerodynamics. You can't go over... 70 to 75 miles an hour. I mean, but that's like any Tesla, right? Like you can't really go over 75 anyways, or else you're going to start depleting to the battery. But I think we've been driving around for the past week and um, we're getting like 270, 280, according to the calculations of the watt hour per mile. So still good. And we're on the 22 inch rims now. Uh, but I think once we go back to like the 20s or even go smaller, then it would be definitely more efficient. While the EPA rated range of the Tesla Cybertruck may be 318 miles for the dual motor all wheel drive version equipped with all terrain tires, when it comes to the real world range of that vehicle, it's going to be a decent amount less than that, especially when driving 
on the highway. So in order to get real world data for Cybertruck range in various situations, I pulled up several YouTube videos, including one from Our Cyber Life, Out of Spec Reviews, and Dennis CW. And in addition, I came across a great Tesla Motors Club forum thread that had many examples of real world range and efficiency. So based on all this data, with a dual motor all wheel drive Cybertruck equipped with all terrain tires, you can really expect around 150 to 290 miles of range on average based on what people are getting in the real world. And once again, that depends a lot on how fast you drive and the weather, etc. But somewhere right there in the middle with mixed driving would be what I would expect. So when it comes to taking a road trip, gas and diesel trucks win in this category because the amount of range per fill up is quite a bit more. Now, beyond just driving range, let's talk about the amount of range that you get with a Cybertruck while towing versus gas and diesel trucks. Now, this is really, really important because if the Tesla Cybertruck is really going to replace gas and diesel trucks, it needs to be able to tow trailers and loads for long distances. So for this chart, I pulled up data from Jerry Rig Everything on YouTube, Voyage ATX on YouTube, and Double Cap Crimping on YouTube. Based on those three real world examples, the dual motor all wheel drive Cybertruck while towing will get somewhere between 90 to around 164 miles of range. Now, to be fair, gas and diesel trucks are less efficient while towing as well. However, since they start out with more range to begin with, they actually are still quite capable of towing long distances. And since it takes much less time to fill a gas or diesel truck with fuel than to charge an electric vehicle, Towing long distances with these trucks is a lot easier. For example, based on data that was shared by Edmonds in a YouTube video, while towing a flatbed trailer that weighed a total of 6,975 pounds, a 2022 Ram 1500 four-wheel drive diesel truck lost around 27% of its fuel efficiency. A 2021 Ford F-150 hybrid lost around 37% of its efficiency. And a Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2 four-wheel drive, that's a gas truck, lost around 9% of its efficiency. So while towing those loads, the real world range of the 2022 Ram 1500 diesel would be, for example, 456 miles. The real world towing range, once again, towing that 6,975 pounds of the Ford F-150 hybrid would be around 462 miles. And the Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2, that real world range towing that same trailer would be around 328 miles. So the truth is when it comes to real world range driving on the highway, for example, at faster speeds or towing heavy loads, gas or diesel trucks are going to give you much more range and it's much faster to fuel up those trucks than it is to charge the Cybertruck. Does this mean that the Cybertruck is not worth building? Of course not. The Cybertruck is a very capable truck in many ways and it has very many use cases that can replace gas or diesel trucks. But in no way is a Cybertruck a no compromises replacement for gas and diesel trucks. Those trucks, unfortunately, are still needed. The truth is we need to see an increase in the energy density of current battery technology before electric trucks like the Cybertruck can fully replace a gas or diesel truck in all instances. So do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to Novium for sponsoring this video. Do make sure that you click that link in the video description to save 10% off and get free shipping on your hover pen purchase. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.